us to our Ask the Expert for today. Whether retirement is a couple of years from now or a couple decades away, most people, they worry about the, the one thing. Am I going to have enough money to last until I die? But a happy retirement is about more than just money. And Tony Drake with WealthWisconsin.com joins us live to give us the lowdown on what we really need to be happy once we decide to retire. Yeah, it's an important question. As in most of our retirees are saying things like, Tony, do I have enough money? Am I going to be okay? Very valid questions. Some recent surveys show about a third of Americans only have $1,000 saved. So really important uh, to, to get on that plan. But it's not all about money. Okay. I mean, there are some other things that bring happiness in retirement. You know, the first thing we certainly have to think about, we recommend to our clients is you have to have a plan. You know, the retirees that talk about having a plan, those are the ones that really have a lot of happiness. So it's really about starting somewhere. Doesn't take a whole lot of time. On average, folks say if they're spending about five hours a year planning, those are the retirees that report being happy. And once you have the plan in place, the heavy lifting's done, and you can just hopefully stick to that plan and keep things moving forward in retirement. Save. Yes. Got All to the save. Time. Yeah, isn't that the Consistency. tough one? Consistency. If you can start early. Yeah, absolutely. Early, starting early is a big key. You know, the earlier you start, it's just that compounding effect that's really going to help us out. And But again, it's coming down to that plan. A good place to start is a retirement calculator. We have a great one at our website, wealthwisconsin.com. But, you, you know, you have to save early and often. It's hard sometimes to give up on the things now, but right. makes a big difference down the road. And you talk about choosing core pursuits. What, and again, that's on the other uh, spectrum of you don't need just money to be happy once you retire. Right, our happiest retirees are the ones that are, you know, not just worried about the one, the money, the ones that are actually having a good time. I call it uh, kind of hobbies on steroids, if you will. <laughs> you know, happiest retirees are doing things that are social. Maybe they're involved in nonprofits, could be something at their church or a sporting activity, something they're doing with other folks that they're really passionate about. Why would I want to pay my mortgage early? I yeah. noticed that on, right. <laughs> on the pointers. There are, there are definitely some two schools of thought there, but as we approach retirement, the idea is if we can get rid of that debt, we don't need as much income in retirement so we don't need as much pension or social security or taxing our accounts as much great techniques to do that you know one little one is you can split your payment in half pay it every two weeks most people don't notice the difference but you end up getting a full extra payment you're gonna knock about six years off a 30-year mortgage and you mentioned it's definitely important to talk to your financial planner but also talking to your spouse yeah you know about <laughs> you're retiring that's together. right that's <laughs> right you know three-quarters of retirees that report being happy are married and only 9% are divorced, believe it or not, you know, and it makes sense, you know, two incomes, a lot more money, it's easier yes. to be happy with more money, right? But, and also divorce can be expensive, it can really wipe you out, but important to communicate, make sure you're both on the same page. I'm a big advocate, even if one of the two makes the financial decisions more, more apt to do that, make sure you're involved in your partner. All right. Well, thank you, Tony Drake, for joining us. Now, if you have a question for our experts, you simply just have to email us at asktheexpert.com. Today's TMJ4.com, I should say. You can also leave a voice message at this number, 967-5253.